everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my channel, Jess in Romance Landia, where I talk about romance novels and happily ever afters and all of the lovely tropes that go along with that. Today's video is inspired by the huge success of Bridgerton, the Netflix slash Shondaland show based on a series of Regency romance books by Julia Quinn. The fact that Bridgerton has been so embraced and loved by both critics and the public makes me really hopeful that we'll see more romance novels um, adapted into either TV shows or films over the next few years. There are thousands upon thousands of romance novels being published every year and across so many subgenres. It is a billion dollar industry in the publishing world and it counts for like somewhere between 30 and 40% of commercial fiction sales. So you know that there is such a vast range of material out there that is just like right for adaptation. This line of thought got me thinking about the books and the series that I personally think would do really really well on the big and small screens so I thought it would be a super fun video idea to talk to you about some of those and why I think they would be so great to see adaptations of and I've tried to choose like a variety of romance subgenres as well rather than just sticking with the historical romance um, because like I said there are so many subgenres out there that I really think that television producers would have their pick when it came to the sort of story that they'd want to tell. However, as this video is inspired by Bridgerton, the first series that I've decided to mention is another historical, I think it's also another Regency, although it might be like a couple of years post Regency if we're being picky, but it is the Bare Knuckle Bastard series by Sarah McLean. You guys know that I adore Sarah McLean, her writing is just so addictive and I honestly think that there isn't one book of hers that I have been able to resist finishing in one entire sitting and they're not necessarily short romance books either she just has a way of writing that is so gripping and moorish that you, you have to keep turning the pages the Bare Knuckle Bastard series is her most recent series it's a trilogy and it follows three adopted siblings who have banded together to create one of the most feared gangs in Covent Garden known as the Bare Knuckle Bastards because of their talent at um, um, bare knuckle boxing. The reason I think this would be a great series to adapt is because it delves into several different levels of Regency society. You do have scenes that are set in ballrooms or in aristocratic homes but most of the heroes and one of the heroines of this series are based in um, Covent Garden which now is a very nice area. If you guys are familiar with London you'll know that Covent Garden is very lovely and full of markets but at the time it was known for violence, for criminality, for shame dealings um, and this series really covers both of those terrains very well and looks at the interplay between them both physically and in terms of things like social class. There's also a fair bit of plotty action in this series so I think it would be really fun to see a slightly more violent or twisted take on the Regency on screen as well especially after Bridgerton which is very wholesome and pure and lovely. I think having a series that revolves around three siblings that essentially reign over London's criminal underworld is quite a nice segue away from that. For me, Bare Knuckle Bastards would be a sexier, twistier, slightly darker version of Bridgerton and I would love to see it come alive on the screen. I think it would be so unbelievably fun to watch. So the next series that I think would make a wonderful television show in terms of adaptations is the Maid Marian series by Lucy Lennox. The Maid Marian series follows the sprawling Marian family which is originally comprised of two parents and their biological children and um, before that family expanded as the two parents started taking in and fostering and eventually adopting more children from their local LGBTQ plus youth centre. What makes the Maid Marian series really exciting and unique then is that it follows uh, several members of the same family as do several romance series as does the Bridgertons but unlike the Bridgertons the majority of the members of the Marian family identify somewhere on the LGBTQ plus spectrum and their love stories are similarly representative of those diverse sexual orientations. What's really fun with the Maid Marian series as well is that every book has a slightly different vibe, a slightly different trope, so you've got fake dating in some, you've got bodyguard and celebrity in another, but at the same time at the root of all of these stories is this big um, literal family and found family dynamic that makes it really emotional and rewarding and wholesome to read about. 
absolutely adore Lucy Lennox. She's a wonderful writer and she's also done so much for the writing community. She really works at coordinating different authors and showing support for lesser known authors. And I just think it would be really lovely to see one of her series get the big screen attention that it definitely deserves. The next book that I'm going to talk about is one that I actually think would do better as a film. And that is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. The Kiss Quotient is probably one of the most famous romantic comedies on um, romance booktube and for good reason. It is a wonderful romantic funny story that everyone that I recommended it to has absolutely loved. The Kiss Quotient follows Stella who is a young, very intelligent professional woman who has Asperger syndrome and is convinced that her social struggles are impeding her from having a successful sexual romantic relationship. To get around this, Stella decides that the best thing to do isn't to go out there and experiment on dates with strangers because she just knows that she won't feel comfortable. So she decides to instead hire an escort who can follow a set plan that she has developed of how she is going to become more sexually experienced. Of course, because it's a romance novel, things do not go that simply and Stella and her escort, a man named Michael, begin to develop feelings for each other as they spend more time together. The reason I think this book would be so wonderful as a film is because it reminded me of a film when I was reading it. Um, everything from the pacing to the colourfulness of it to the really fun banter between Stella and Michael reminded me of one of the really charming, bright romantic comedies that Netflix has been coming out with over the past couple of years. I also think this book would be a wonderful one to see adapted because it would provide some much needed diversity in terms of romantic storytelling on screen. Like I said, Stella has Asperger's syndrome and Michael is a sex worker of Vietnamese heritage. So it's two stories and two people that we don't see get to act as romantic leads enough on television. And I think that the fact that this book is so charming and respectful of both of their lives and their personalities and their selves makes it a really wonderful one to um, have adapted to the screen. The next book I would love to see adapted is another one that I can see as a film and that is The Lady's Guide to Celestial Mechanics by Olivia Waite. This is another historical romance that follows an astronomer named Lucy who is contacted by the widowed Countess of Moth to translate a French astronomy text left by her late husband. Lucy goes to stay with the Countess, a woman named Caroline, and the two end up developing romantic feelings for each other the more time they spend together as Lucy is working on this astronomy project. This book is absolutely stunning, both in terms of character work and writing, and I could not stop visualising it as a film whilst I was reading. It. There has been a lot more FF or queer female historical romance um, in filmmaking over the past few years. We've had films like A Portrait of a Lady on Fire and Ammonite which had Kate Winslet and Saoirse Ronan in it but what I've noticed with many of these films is that they don't necessarily have explicitly happy or joyous endings. Um, a lot of the time there's a lot of ambiguity there at best so I would really love to see something like The Lady's Guide adapted because it has all of that gorgeous, rich, evocative imagery that these other films had, but it also promises a happily ever after for its queer characters, which I think we all need when it comes to romance and storytelling. So yes, I could definitely see this one being adapted to the big screen and to critical acclaim as well. The final book that I would like to see adapted to the screen is a bit of a curveful one and you're gonna have to like follow my logic for a moment, but it is Priest by Sierra Simone. So Priest follows a priest, as you may have guessed, named Tyler, who begins to question whether he has chosen the right vocation um, as he grapples with his attraction to a stripper named Poppy. It is a very sexy book, it is a very taboo book, but it also manages to engage with a lot of themes such as celibacy, um, with a lot of intelligence and respect and compassion. For me, when I think of an adaptation of Priest, I think of like a sexy six part drama, definitely broadcast after the watershed. I know that were Priest adapted, it would definitely spark some controversy amongst viewers, but I will remind you guys, that the internet lost its collective shit when Fleabag had its sexy priest in season two. So for all the critics out there, there are clearly several people that would be very, very into the idea of having an entire series based around this sort of taboo romance. I'm not saying that people are looking specifically 
four priests or four religious figures but I do think that there is room for a taboo romance and a negotiation of what it means for a romance to be taboo on television. Also Sierra Simone is one of the most accomplished and original romance novelists writing today so I would absolutely love it for her if one of her books or series was adapted to the screen and for me this would definitely be my pick. Okay so there we have it those are the books and series that I would personally love to see adapted to the small and big screen. I really do think that media is going to start to enter into kind of a romance renaissance over the next few years. We had things like the romantic comedy boom on Netflix in sort of summer 2019 and then we've had Bridgerton and the massive success of that and to me and my non-expertise but absolute love for the genre that does make it seem like there is a hunger for those stories and a hunger for those happily ever afters perhaps particularly because we're going through such a difficult time globally at the moment people are really drawn to stories where they know that they're going to be happy at the end if you guys have any thoughts or feelings about any books or series that you would love to see adapted to the screen please do let me know i've loved thinking about this topic for the past few days now so if you guys can give me any more ideas or inspiration to kind of fuel those daydreams i would absolutely love it until next time though thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye